What's up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Michael. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an unboxing of a really, really cool figure that I found online. Let me show you the box. If you're interested and you want to see what's inside here, don't go anywhere. Alright, and before moving on, like always, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to the channel. Here at the channel, what we do is we review action figures, collectible toys, gadgets, electronics, and from time to time we do photography and video tutorial. So if you're interested and you like the content I'm making, consider subscribing here to the channel. And if you like this video, if you can do me a favor, if you can hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot here with the YouTube channel. So anyway, so now let's go ahead and move on with today's unboxing. All right, guys, we are back. Right inside this box, I have an Asian Giant Hornet. This is by the company Rebel Tech by Kyoto. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. But before we do, let me show you the box really quick really nice i believe i can't read japanese but i believe this is their logo that they're going for for this um, series of figures that they're coming out with based on natures and extraordinary um, creatures from our planet so and one of them is going to be the asian giant hornet which is this one and they have some more uh when we when i show you the back i'll show you in a minute so anyways really cool presentation as far as first impressions i love it here's the front Here's the side, here's the back. So right here we got some really cool uh, illustrations of pictures of this incredible figure. It looks amazing. And that's it, uh, nothing else in the box. So let's go ahead and take a closer look inside. Great job with this little opening. So it's almost like a book. All right, and here is the inside of our box. I believe this is a Japanese right here, but they're showing you some of their series and uh, some of the other figures that they have available from this line that they're going for, which is really nice. Uh, and I believe this is the artist, uh, Shinobu Masumura, if I pronounce this name right. And right here, it gives you a little bit of the uh, geography of this uh, giant hornet. So really cool uh, layout as far as the box. And right here we have a signature of the artist. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at our giant hornet. And here it is. Wow, that looks beautiful. All right guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it really quick and then we'll take a closer look, okay? So don't go anywhere. All right guys, so this is what it looks like after removing all the plastic. Right here we have our giant Asian Hornet. Beautiful and also included, it comes with uh, some additional accessories. So right here you have some additional wings. These are, I guess we can say, the flying, the flying mo uh, winds, and then it comes with the uh, the, the base, um, and it comes with two arms, a shorter one and a longer one, and it looks like it comes with maybe a few joints. I believe this is if you want to do like a fixed uh, pose with the figure, where there's no joints movements. Uh, these are more like a static, like fix. Uh, so you also have that option available. All right. And also includes the instructions, uh, all in Japanese. So the good thing is that you have illustrations right here. And if you use like an app like Google Translate, you can actually use the video, the camera mode, and it can translate that for you. So something you can try. All right, guys, and the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and unbox our giant hoarding. Here we go. On three, one, two, and three. All right guys, and right here I have my Asian Giant Hornet. This looks legit. This is really, really cool. Wow. Rebel Tech, you guys did an awesome job with this figure. Wow, look at the paint job. Look at the details on this figure. Wow. Even the eye had that transparent um, look into it where it almost looks like real. Great job. Wow. So this is why I ordered this uh, this insect because it looked really cool online 
and I had to have this on my collection. I can do, there's so many possibilities with this. You can play around with it, first of all, um, have some fun with family, scare people. Uh, but the other thing is that if you're a toy photographer, amazing things that you can do. Even, oh, you know what? I was thinking that if you have Ant, the uh, Marvel character, you can do some really cool pictures with this figure. So anyways, moving on with all the uh, accessories, everything else included, I just wanted to give you a close up of the accessories. Like I mentioned before, it comes with the base. It comes with the uh, arm. You got a long one and you got a shorter one. This one is more specifically if you want to have the, uh, the Asian Hornet flying. And this one, if you want to just lay him down on the ground. And then it includes the uh, flying wind right here. And, and then it comes with these uh, joints right here. Now these are more, these are not movable. You can't move them. These are more like stations. So the ones already on the uh, joints on the legs and all that are the ones that you can actually, that have some movement. These don't have movement. So these are more for if you want to keep the figure more stationed. All right guys, and we are back. And right now what I want to do is I want to show you really quick how you get the stinger out. So the way it works is that you flip this bottom part and it opens up like this. It has a magnet, so that's the way you can close it and open, okay? Now once you have it open, you hold it and then you flip this or you open it up and there's your stinger right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And there it is. How cool is that? Then you close it and then you put it back together. And now your Hornet is ready to sting somebody. So be careful with this giant Hornet. Yeah! A fact about this uh, insect is considered one of the most dangerous insects in the world. That is scary. The actual size is not like this. This is actually around seven inch um, Hornet or figure. But the actual giant hornet, I don't know the specific size, but it's just to let you know, it's not this big. All right, guys, before moving on, I wanted to show you really quick the mandible of the hornet. It has articulations too, which is really cool. Take a look at this. Wow. How cool is that? Tell me if that's not cool. You can also move the antennas as well. All right, guys, and before I finish the video, I just want to give you my thoughts on this figure. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. Uh, something different um, than what I normally collect here since I normally collect action figures. Uh, this is interesting uh, because it's not an action figure uh, or superhero or anything like that. It's just a creature from nature, which is, looks amazing at a bigger scale which is nice. So the amazing thing about this figure is the detail. Incredible, incredible job with the detail. The paint job looks amazing. Um, articulations are really good. The only setback or drawback of this uh, figure is that it's very fragile, specifically the legs. Um, just keep that in mind. Second, um, I personally had a hard time posing the figure without the base. It is possible, but I had a hard time. You had to get it to a certain pose in order for it to, to stand on its own. But it was really hard, so I decided just to go with the base. Other than that, I think this is a, an awesome figure. And if you love creatures, nature creatures and all that, uh, or if you are a photographer or to a photographer, I mean, you can get so creative with this. Uh, insect so other than that if i was to give a score i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this um an a i'm gonna give it an a i wanted to give it an a plus but the legs i think they're very fragile so if you do get this figure just keep that in mind be very gentle with the legs try not to have a lot of movement with the legs because they tend to fall off it, it doesn't mean that they're broken but that's the way they're built it it, it designed so you can actually remove them really easy but at the same time it makes it really hard to to have it stand on his own so all right guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you did like this video if you can hit that like button it helps me a lot here with the youtube algorithm if you like the content i'm producing here at the channel you're welcome here to the channel and i will see you guys next week take care guys
Bye.